Greetings, Black Light. I want to give a shout out to uh, New Era Detroit. Some young brothers coming up. Uh, I hope we could uh, network. These brothers, you know, they, they uh, I heard of them uh, recently. I didn't know it was no young brothers. Uh, doing the kind of work that these brothers are doing. And uh, I already gave a, a shout out to the uh, Detroit 3000 and FOI. But I haven't heard anything that they were doing lately. So you know, I hope that uh, we could uh, clean up Detroit. This is what I want to say. You see Israel, you know, they got, they occupying Israel and they trying to take over Palestine. And y'all heard Donald B. Elijah Muhammad say, we got to have some of this land for ourselves. And I don't want us to stop fighting for reparations. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm advocating that uh, we take over Detroit. Clean up Detroit. I've been leaving about 10 more minutes. And that was my, my wife. And so it's 85% black brothers and sisters was leaving because of the crime. <laughs> But this is how we're going to um, win this battle. Do for self. Now, a lot of brothers want to advocate going to the polls and voting and political power and all like that on the local level. That used to work. It would have worked, you know, couple of decades ago but the Caucasian been been doing that political thing for so long he got it down pat you know how to keep our black politicians our black senators stuff out the, out the mix they can't do nothing they've been ineffective for so long and a lot of them to compromise their position. And it takes a lot of money now to run a campaign, even if it's local. It takes a lot of money. And you could get bought off on the local level. Remember, you can get bought off on a local level. You can get, you can compromise on a local level. You take your unions. 
your union leaders then got bought off. You know, that's local. So you got to come up with a new strategy. The strategy ain't really new, but it, it's a strategy that we really haven't gave the opportunity to work for us. It's almost like striking. Now that strike, when they first started striking, it, 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 didn't, it didn't look like it was going to pay off. But the brothers was sincere back then and they, they couldn't be bought off because it was something new. A new system, a new way of doing things. And so when they started striking, you know, they, they, they didn't, couldn't make no more money. They barely could make it, but they uh, pulled all their resources together so that they could hold out until they come to a negotiation and an agreement. Uh, you got to do this now. You got to strike on a larger scale, but in a different way. The main way, see, y'all worried about Umar Johnson and them sucking you. You volunteered, you, you volunteered your money. You volunteered your money to these churches, uh, to these preachers. You volunteer your money to these con artists. Because that's all preachers are nowadays, is con artists. And brothers come up as con artists, they they uh, uh they tell you what's right, but they don't know you know, they pocket the money, you know, and you know, get rich off of it. And you still ain't got nothing to accomplish. See, our problem is we hate to take on responsibility and we hate to unite with each other. So, but that still don't have to stop your show. But you want to have got to have the, a will to live. You got to have a will to live. Uh, a will to do for self. You know, and 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 will and willpower got to be gaining by the hour. A partner of mine wrote a song called "Willpower Gaining by the Hour." I used to love him sing that song. You know, because I know willpower is one of the trip. Uh, willpower is one of the twelve powers of a man. You know, God is that who possesses and masters power and force. That's what God means. And so we uh, as a people uh, we are self-destructing now more so than the white man is destroying us. Don't forget now he's destroying us too now. But we helping him more than ever. So, in Detroit, we've been battling this this beast and each other for a long time. So, we still got some brothers on the front line, some young brothers. I just became aware of called uh, uh, New Era, Detroit. I'm going to holler at these brothers right now. And I, I hope these brothers see this video because I'm going to tell you, y'all on the right track. Y'all on the right track. Uh, but it's a stronghold. These churches is a stronghold. Even these mosques. Even the temples of the NOI. If they would, if you study the, the uh, programs, businesses that Elijah, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had up and running, 
before he died and Wallace sold him off. Uh, this is what we got to do. We got to kick all these uh, foreigners, Chaldeans, out the hood and replace them like it used to be with black businesses, number one. But the uh, banks don't want to give us no loans no more because most, most, you know, mostly black people got bad credit, you know, and they partner up with a, a program that uh, Detroit got, you know, but uh, we want to do it, do it on our own. We got all these empty buildings falling apart. Some of them can be re rehabilitated. So. I suggest that this could work through block clubs. If we start organizing block clubs, then get the block clubs to network with one another, with one another. We might want to give some incentive by having a, a block club challenge or community challenge. Who could uh, clean up their neighborhood by getting rid of the drug dealers, uh, boarding up all the houses, uh, rehabilitating the houses. And what we need to do when we are organized as uh, a united block club front. All the block clubs come together, unite as a front, go down to City Hall, look at city planning as a group, see what they got scheduled to be towed down because they, they, these Chaldeans coming in here and beating the brothers out of their money, you know, scamming with these houses, you know, and the courts on the side of the landlords and these scammers. We got to clean this mess up. So, if we could unite all the organizations, all the black clubs, march on City Hall, clean up City Hall, get rid of these boule, Uncle Tom niggas, you know, if we can do that. We could take back Detroit. Now the Caucasian, you know, let them have Detroit. Let them have, uh, I mean, don't let them have Detroit, but let them have downtown. Because they got the gambling established and all this corruption, sports and stuff. It ain't nothing but gambling. All that sports arenas and stuff ain't nothing but gambling. You know, legal gambling. So, yeah. Let them have that. And all the brothers who want to, you know, give away their money to the Caucasian, let them do it. But the brothers that's sincere, you know, we could build a, the uh, neighborhoods up. Get rid of all the dope. You know, the next video, I'm going to give you step by step, blow by blow, blow by blow ways to do it. And if you decide to uh, do this, put it on video. Put it on YouTube. To show to the rest of the brothers and sisters in Atlanta, New York, Chicago. How we do it in Detroit. And don't worry about the, the Caucasian can't stop it unless, unless y'all let him into your, your circle. Unless he get a weak brother off and pay him off to uh, dismantle what you're trying to build. So you got to constantly scream brothers. Make sure that they're loyal to the cause. This is Black Light.